Hi, welcome to my channel. Here are 10 things I do differently one-handed. So this is the part two version of this video. In the part one version, I showed you guys how I braid my hair, how I tie my shoes, how I play the guitar, amongst a few other things. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely check that video out. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Renali, and I was born with one hand. So this is my left elbow, and as you can see, there's not much else from there. <laughs> but because I was born one-handed, I learned how to do pretty much everything in a different way than most two-handed people would do it. If you are a person with a disability like me, then I really hope that this video can hopefully help you out if you are struggling to do some of these things and you want to see how another person in a similar situation does it. Look up from your telescope, take me on a when I'm typing on my laptop, I just use my right hand. If I have to hold down two keys at once, like Command C for example, then I can usually just hold down Command with my thumb and then reach C with another one of my fingers. But if for some reason I'm trying to hold down multiple keys which are on the opposite side of the keyboard, I'll just place my left arm on the leftmost key and then I'll reach the other keys using my right fingers. I do the same thing when I'm typing on my phone. I just use my right hand and I can easily reach my thumb over to the left side of the screen to tap a key. So to fold a blanket, I try to first get the two corners in my right hand. So I'm kind of holding one corner in my left arm. This is that corner. And then I'm gonna get the other corner with my right arm and match the two up right here. And I've got the two corners in my right hand and the rest is kind of just like around my left arm, if you can see that. And then I use my chin to like hold the blanket under here. And then I take my right arm and I place it in the middle of the blanket. But now it's kind of folded in half on top of itself. And I might fold it one more time. So again, I'm gonna put my chin here and connect the two sides. And then hold it right here, and then again, I place my arm right here, and there you go. So if I'm chopping something that's really small, honestly, I just try to be careful. <laughs> Um, I just place my left arm over whatever the thing I'm holding is and then I cut it and I just am very sure and careful not to cut myself. Also, these strawberries were ginormous. I just had to put that in here because I don't think I've ever seen strawberries this big. So to start, I just bring all my hair back and then I kind of lean my left arm against my head to kind of hold all that hair in place and then I'll get it on the other side as well. And then I'll lift up the hair from the bottom of my neck and I'll bring it all up into my right hand. I wanna go through and like smooth the front of my hair. So what I do to hold it while I'm using my right hand is I'll lay my left arm on top, I'll bring my hair over, and then I'll put it under. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing. I have no idea how I discovered to do that, but I just do that now. And now I can go through with my right hand and kind of smooth out the front of my hair. Now I'm going to take my hair tie and I'm going to go underneath and then I'm going to let go with my left hand and then I'm going to pull down my scrunchie to cover my hair and pull the hair through. And then we'll do it one more time. So I'm going to let go, pull the hair down with my left arm and then pull it through once again. I'm not going to show you guys me actually flossing because nobody wants to see that, but I am going to show you what I use. So I get these like packs of little flossers. They look like this. Essentially, they just make it very easy to floss your teeth without having to hold it in two hands. And you can get these pretty much anywhere, Costco, Fry's, wherever you grocery shop. <laughs> So unfortunately, you can't really see in this video, but basically I stick the fork into whatever the thing I'm cutting is, and I place my left arm on top of the end of the fork in order to put pressure in there so that that fork is like standing still, if that makes sense. And then I cut the actual thing with my right hand using the knife. Um, okay, so I'm gonna 
opening a jar, this is really simple unless if it's like super tightly screwed on, but I just take it and put it between my body and my arm and then we are very close for this part of the video. So I think putting in the earring is pretty much the same as anyone else. Just put it in like that. There you go. But when I put the backing in, I obviously can't hold it in one side and then bring my arm around and do that whole thing. But what I do instead is I take my backing and I kind of push my ear against like the side of my face and holding the backing between my index finger and my thumb, I'm just gonna push it on. And now that it's like kind of connected, I just push it a little further in like that. Opening the bag of chips or opening like a granola bar or a Ziploc bag, those are all kind of the same thing. Basically, I'm going to put this between my body and my arm once again and I kind of create a part that sticks out so that I can pull it, if that makes any sense. So it'll, hopefully you'll understand when I show it to you. And I'm holding it on one side and then... So I know a lot of two-handed people crack eggs just with one hand, so that's really just a method that I do. Um, after I crack the egg, I hold the top part of the egg up with my index and my middle finger, and I hold the bottom part down with the other three fingers, and then the egg drops into the bowl. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning, I'm really just making this video to hopefully interest people, but also even if I can just help one person with this video, then I would call it a success. Um, I don't see many people with disabilities in on TV, on media, or on YouTube, so hopefully I can be that light for at least one person. Um, I know that the last video I made, a lot of new people started following me because of it, and a lot of them were other fellow people with disabilities, so I'm really excited that I'm able to reach you guys. But if you guys have any other ideas for videos you want to see me do, whether it be related to my arm or just something completely random, I do singing videos, makeup videos, kind of just whatever I'm interested in. <laughs> if you have any ideas for that, definitely go ahead and comment it down below. And also, please thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Look like art. Look like art. Look like art. I hear you like heat that cut lighters, but that she not one.